Hello there, my name is Ilaria Ranauro, also known as Ilaria Pops. And in today's video, I would like to share with you some tips if you are thinking about attending the Bologna Children's Book Fair. So this video is mainly for illustrators. So if you're an illustrator, welcome. You are going to see some footage that I've taken in 2023 so that you can get a better idea. So I will start with um, the basic definition. I have my notes in front of me so I can be more precise and I don't forget anything. The Bologna Children's Book Fair is a top event in the publishing world. It happens every year uh, in Bologna, in Italy, and it is where uh, publishers, illustrators, and many others gather to exchange rights and exchange ideas. It is not just about uh, books, but it's also uh, multimedia and licensing businesses, and it is both a cultural book show and uh, a business forum attracting people for various fields like publishing, licensing and entertainment. So what you will find in there is not only publishers, but there are also people who sell rights for, uh, I don't know, um, some kind of merchandising. You will find toys in there or two. You will find also manufacturers that um, uh, share their products so that other publishers can uh, decide to print with them. Or if you are thinking about self-publishing your books, you will uh, find uh, manufacturers in there uh, too. So it is really, really interesting. So when is uh, the Bologna Children's Book Fair this year? It's going to happen in April. Last year was in March. So it is usually between March and April. It lasts four days from Monday to Thursday. This year is going to happen from the 8th to the 11th of April. Tickets are 22 euros for illustrators and translators. So they cost a little bit more if you don't belong to this category. Uh, you can go on the, on the Bologna Children's Book Fair website and in there you can ask for a code if you're an illustrator or a translator so you will get a discount of course if you purchase four days tickets uh, they cost uh, 56 euros or otherwise you can purchase daily tickets or you can purchase uh, two days tickets uh, so there are many options i would suggest you go visit their website so now let's see uh, some things that you can find at the bologna children's book fair you can find exhibition in there every year there is an illustrator exhibition every Every year, many illustrators have been selected uh, for the fair. Uh, they also come gathered in a, in a book every year, the annual book of the fair. You can also take part to this selection. You can send uh, your works uh, every year. There's a deadline in which you can submit your works. I, I never try it personally, to be honest, because I, I don't know, I don't feel prepared enough. Uh, you will see that every year there are illustrators that are so, so good. So it is, in my opinion, a little intimidating, but this is me. I mean, probably one year I'm going to try and see. Anyway, these illustrators have also offered the opportunity to win um, other awards. So it is a really good opportunity. You can find all the info on how to participate on their website. But for this year, they don't accept works anymore. So you, but you can try next, next year. Why not? Another thing that you can find uh, the Bologna Children's Book Fair are talks. So um, every year you can find in there illustrators that talk about the process, talk about their works, or you can find, I don't know, some talks about uh, licensing or talks about translating uh, books or many other topics in the industry. Uh, there is, of course, a program of all uh, the events that are happening during the day. I would suggest you to download the app of the Children's Book Fair. This year is still not updated because it's a little bit uh, soon, but I'm sure they are going to uh, update it um, when they're ready, uh, probably around end of uh, March. It is really good to have it on your phone so you can have a look at the program every day and you can see which one is more interesting for you. And if there's something you would uh, really like to attend, I would suggest you go a little bit uh, in advance because sometimes they're 
really crowded, especially if there's some really important illustrator talking or a really famous one. So if you're really interested, go a little bit in advance, like half an hour before it starts. And I will tell you, talks are also a really good chance to have a seat and rest a little bit. So yes, have a look at the program every day. There are also sometimes illustrators signing their books. Another thing that you can find are portfolio reviews, so the chance to meet the publishers and editors in person, which I think is the most important thing. I would say, not to discourage you, but every year has become uh, more difficult to find this kind of opening <laughs> from the publisher. When I first attended the fair in 2017, if I don't get wrong, it was easier to, uh, to find some appointments uh, right on the same day or for the day after. Last year, there were really few. So it usually it works like this, that uh, every publisher has their own stand, their own booths, I don't know how to call it. And um, they usually put a sign where they say, OK, open to Illustrator this day at this time. So you go there, you queue uh, for a little bit and they uh, see your, um, they're open to, to see your portfolio and see if they want to contact you again in the future or if they want to take your business cards and stuff like that. And lately, I noticed that they are using this method where they just offer like a big box where you can put your uh, business card in there or your postcard or something that they can see uh, when the fair is uh, is finished. I don't know if it is like a way not to be disturbed by illustrators. And so they say, okay, put your stuff in here. And if we are interested, we will contact you. I don't know if they do so just to avoid you or if they are going to uh, look at them. When the fair is over, I, I have no idea. It's still a good opportunity to just leave your business card in there and you never know. But it's maybe more like a lottery or something like that. I don't know. You can find also events all over the city, usually after the fair ends. So there are some exhibitions or some talks. There are sometimes some exhibitions in bookstores or in bars and coffee shops. So it is really amazing. These events are, I think, are also listed in the Bologna Children's Book Fair app. So how do you get ready for the Bologna Children's Book Fair if you're an illustrator? I would say, first of all, prepare a portfolio. If you're a digital artist, of course, make it digital. Bring your iPad. This is what I've done last year. I brought my iPad with me and I just created a gallery that was um, easy and immediate to show to the publishers. So try to make something that is really fast for them to see because they don't you don't want to put them in a bad mood like trying to open the app trying to find your illustrations and stuff so be ready try to make something that it's easy for them to to see to remember so my suggestion is that you bring something digital i would avoid to bring uh, like this really big folder with many many illustrations in there like hundreds of illustrations try to avoid that i would say just select the best ones take pictures of your uh, work so they can uh, see them easily and uh, also for you you don't have to carry your uh, illustrations around with you all day because it's gonna be tiring at some point of course i will tell you to try and take appointments beforehand so start one month in advance and i will suggest you to go to their website uh, in there there is a, the list of all the publishers that you are gonna find i would search for the publishers that are more a good fit with my style with the kind of work that i do and I would select some of them, let's say 10, 15, 20, and try to send an email and say, hello, I'll, I'll be in Bologna this day. Uh, are you open to see a portfolio? Are you open to see illustrators? In that case, I would like to book an appointment. Maybe you can uh, send them two to three images of your illustrations or your website so they can uh, see if they're interested. 
of course, if you already published some book, um, this is really, really important. Some publishers only want to see illustrators that are already published, so sometimes it's not easy. So if you have some books, bring them with you or bring some pictures, but just bring some so you can show them that you already worked with a publisher, that you already published something. And then uh, in the end, uh, bring some business cards with you or bring some postcards. Um, in my case, last year, I... I prepared like a postcard with one illustration and on the other side there were all my uh, information so like a couple of words about me and then there was my uh, QR code and the website, Instagram, YouTube and, and my email address so they could contact me. To be honest, I've never been uh, contacted by anybody uh, from the fair or not that I'm aware of. Sometimes it's, it's not really easy to, I mean, do, do not expect to go there and find a job right away. It's not so easy because every year there are um, more and more illustrators attending the fair. So I would say that the competition is really high. You will see every year is more packed <laughs> with illustrators. But yeah, try to bring something with you that you can leave in case uh, some publisher is interested to contact you again. So you have to be ready. And also you can exchange them with other illustrators if you want to keep in touch or stuff like that. And also business card, postcards or flyers are really important because in there you will find the illustrator's wall, uh, which is, yeah, the they just prepare some huge, huge walls uh, that are blank at the beginning and where um, illustrators can attach their posters or postcards or flyers. I would say that usually are other illustrators that takes the, the business card or that takes the flyers for inspiration. I mean, I've done that too. <laughs> so I'm not sure if these walls really work. If publishers really go there and, and have a look and select some illustrators? Maybe yes. I mean, I, I do not say no, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, if you want to uh, get a really good spot at this wall, I would suggest you go the first day right at the opening of the fair. So if the fair opens up, I don't know, at uh, 10 a.m., you go there at 9.30 and you're ready to run and take the, the best spot. So if you're really interested in that, uh, be prepared and bring some tape with you because you, you need tape to, <laughs> to attach uh, anything you like to the wall. Now I would like to give you some mixed tips, some thing that is more practical. First thing is bring really comfy shoes with you. Be prepared to, re to be really, really tired because you're going to walk for hours, you're going to stand for hours and it is really, really tiring at the end of the day. So be prepared for that. You find uh, buses to, uh, to arrive to the fair. Also, the bus are sometimes really crowded, so be prepared to, to wait a little bit longer. So be patient, uh, be, uh, don't, don't be mad and uh, be kind with each other because it's, um, it, it's a really rough experience sometimes. Because Bologna is a really small uh, town, so every year there are hundreds of people attending the fair, so uh, sometimes it's a little bit challenging to reach the fair. But don't be discouraged. I mean, um, it is completely doable. I only want to prepare you uh, to be patient. I would say also bring your own food, bring your own snack. If you can, uh, pack some more because you're going to be hungry. Uh, you're going to be craving for uh, something sugary maybe because uh, you're gonna spend so many energies in there of course you can find food in there you can find sandwiches you can find tortellini or everything you want but food is really expensive so if you're on a budget i will suggest you take a sandwich before you go on your way to the fair uh, in italy there's food everywhere and it's really good so take a sandwich with you take some snacks and you're good to go also bring your own water if you can in there you can find also a cot room where you can leave your luggage for example if you just arrived from the airport or the train stations you can leave it in there you can leave your jacket in there your backpack I would suggest you to bring some coins some cash so you can pay for the cot room because of course you have to pay for it if I don't get wrong last year was around four euros every day but it's really convenient because it is better for you not to carry your jacket around or not to carry a 
heavy backpack, so try to be more comfortable and as possible. You'll also find, of course, a Wi-Fi in there. So if you need to look online for something, you also have uh, the Wi-Fi. Lunchtime is usually a time when illustrators can gather. Sometimes there are some like uh, private um, gathering organized by illustrators. So of course, uh, be friend with other illustrators so you can exchange some tips can uh, share struggles and <laughs> and stuff like that so it's really nice to get to know other illustrators or um, make new friends so overall i would say that um, the bologna children's book fair is a, a really nice place to be especially if you're an illustrator do not expect to, to find a job right away to find commissions right away maybe you want but still it is a really nice opportunity to looked at the exhibitions look at many many books so many books you can you have no idea how many books are in there so it is uh, overall a really inspiring place to be and um, a really inspiring event i will go anyway just to have a look and see what works while if there are some trends or um, again to find inspirations so this is it for this video i hope i uh, remember everything i wanted to tell you if you still have some questions if you think that i should have talked about something more uh, specific just uh, leave a comment down below with some questions i will uh, be happy to reply it if you like share this video with other illustrators uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you maybe in Bologna or I will see you uh, in the next video. Bye.